Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Awesome. I was wondering if they were going to have this in the game. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Merlin's oh, beard. Shall we? Clever beard. <laughs> You're an idiot. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Good old Deke, Professor. Deke. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you. <laughs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Fart. What? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Already five steps ahead of you. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Deke, Deke. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. How dare you. Oh. Clever beard. Um, I can't go that way. What's the point of that? Oh. Let me This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Okay.
Cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? It's a snitch. Perhaps you should summon your witch. Thank you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Rebellion. Where'd it go? Oh. Action. I don't know if that did anything or not. Action. Just got it. Ew. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Well. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. Ow. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Of course. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains Brilliant! What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time <laughs> to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Full of bitches and hoes. Ow. Identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Oh. 
You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Well... Boom. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table, gems <coughs> and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I, I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. I don't. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Incendio. Oops. Do 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 do. Bam. Boom. Isn't that cool? If you say so. Ew, what is this? What the fuck is that? Growing them herbs.
Bam. Are you making sure they're even and straight? Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. His insights may be a little short in stature. Ow! I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Is that where you can make like new health potions and stuff? What? So cool. One more spell from this woman. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room. I know, we've been over or this. You return to me once you've gathered enough. I have some. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? What are we doing? Oh. Uh, oh, she give me more stuff. Do a mirror. Or not. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Seen Shut up, Deke. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Uh. 
Believe how many beasts you have here. You're not going to go with green. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Sure that's the right green. Yes. Potions you brewed. Shit. Are you trying to center it? Maybe. I don't think I can. Ooh! That's close enough. No, it's not, but sure. Look how huge Is it, it bigger? Yes. I made it good. You don't have, like, a couch or something you can put on there? I did not want that to be moved. That's good. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Yeah. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke. Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. I'll come and talk to Deke when you're ready. That's what you want to go with? Yes.
You have to change that one. Deke cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Shut up, Deke. The um Bam. What am I supposed to do? Speak to Deke. Why are you changing? Like, none of it matches. It looks cool, though. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Yes. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Sounds lame. Does it though? Can't that change it? Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Well, I want to see the now other we options. We have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, well, cool, because I didn't ask for your opinion. There's more. Whoa. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep Stop talking, you mate. Good. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Exactly, so get out. No women allowed. Only dudes. Cool dudes. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'm assuming it was warm and cozy before. I like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. I want to smell the animal shit blow in the wind. <laughs> Shut up, Brandon. <laughs> I want to feel it in my nostrils. <laughs> the sweet stench. Was that what it was at? I'd like to ask you about changing the room. I'd like to. What's the difference between that one and the moonlight? It's the same thing. The moonlight is brighter. I'd like. Okay. Nobody likes that one. Hurry up, game. You don't need to show me. Which one are you going with? I would like. 
I would like it as if I am on the moon itself. Yeah, this one's the best. Have it all dusty. And turn off gravity. I want to bounce around. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the- Shut up, Deke! <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> Nobody cares. This video is just gonna be the room getting customized. Oh, why can't it be the whole thing? What if you wanted all the walls to look different? Well, then you'd be an idiot. Ooh. That one's kind of cool. You want the botanical look? I can't see nothing, though. So. That one looks cooler. Yeah, but it doesn't go. What do you mean it doesn't go? It doesn't go with the rest of the room. It does. Who cares about the chair? Oh my gosh, it's just one corner. Oh, you didn't do the ceiling on that side either. Oh my gosh. There. I can't even... It won't even let me look at the ceiling. There we go. Oh. Is it snowing? That's cool. Boom, and then... Boom. Cool. You didn't change the other side. What are you talking about? The ceiling on the... right there, to your right. Keep going, that one. That is changed. Brandon, the ceiling! Oh. There. Boom! Alright, I'm done with this room. You're bored already. Deke thinks you Shut up, Deke. You'll never get a sock. Ow. Brandon! <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're mine forever.